Welcome to day's 3 to 5 of my live Facebook Marketplace dropshipping case study where I show you guys everything that I'm doing on my Facebook Marketplace account. In this video, you'll see that I added more products, got more sales, and I'm also going to show you how I'm fulfilling my orders quickly with a fast address copier and also an order sheet where I have all of my orders organized inside an Excel file and I will share the same file with you guys so that you can have it too. Quick intro and let's go. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. What happened in days three to five on my Facebook Marketplace account? So as you can see here, now I have 50 listings on my Facebook Marketplace account. On the right side, you'll see eight orders waiting to be shipped. On the last video on day two, we only had two sales. So now we're up to eight sales, which is six more sales in the next couple of days. And this is only the beginning. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And here you can see the listings that I have on my Facebook marketplace dropshipping account, which is different from day two. So we've got more items this time, and I'm using the same techniques to add these products to my store. Now the process for product research is the same. Simply add the best selling products from your suppliers and make sure that they can ship out their products within a couple of days and make sure that they also use FedEx, UPS or USPS as a delivery service. That should be enough for the Facebook marketplace as long as you also comply with the commerce policies. I'll leave a link to that right below this video. So as you can see here, these are the products that I have on my AutoDS platform, the same products that you just saw on my Facebook marketplace account. Here is one listing that started selling this warm crotchet hooks item. So as you can see, I'm buying it for $10.48 and I'm selling it on the Facebook Marketplace for $13. As mentioned in the previous videos, the Facebook Marketplace takes a 5% fee. The rest of that is our profit to be had. Here is a knitting bag, another product that's selling for me on the Facebook Marketplace. So as you can see, I'm buying it for $27.99 and I've also got another $4 coupon from Amazon and I'm selling it for $34. Subtract the 5% transaction fee, add the $4 extra profit that I'm making from that coupon, and that is how much profit I'm making, about $5 per sale for that bag. So you see what products I have on my Facebook Marketplace account? You know where I'm getting them from and what product research methods I'm implementing on my stores, so you can practice the same things on your account. But what I want to show you now is a nice feature to save you a lot of time when fulfilling your orders on your suppliers sites. So when you start getting orders, the first thing that I want you guys to do is download and install the free AutoDS dropshipping helper extension, which you see right here in front of me. What this will enable you to do is to copy the addresses and then you'll be able to easily paste them on your supplier site. So here's exactly what I mean. Let's go back to my Facebook marketplace account. Here is one order that I have. When I open the order details, you'll notice this copy button. This link is available because I downloaded and installed that extension that I just talked about. So we're going to click on copy, then we'll head over to the product page on Amazon and add the product to our cart so that we can purchase it for the customer. And of course, I will take my $4 extra coupon. So that's 100% extra profit for me and go on with the checkout process. First, we'll mark it as a gift so that the customer will not see the price that we paid and he'll simply get it in a gift packaging without seeing the receipt. Then we're going to proceed to checkout. Next, I'm greeted with the address screen. So as you see here, I have many, many, many addresses. What I want to do now is scroll down to the add a new address button. To get to it faster, I'll simply open up a search on my browser and I'll search for add a new. Then you'll see it took me straight down to add a new address. I'll click on that. And as you see, there is a paste button here. Once again, available through the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping helper extension. So remember, I use this link to copy the customer's address on the order details on the Facebook marketplace. Then I headed to Amazon or to whatever supplier you're buying the product from. And on the address section, you'll have the paste button. So both the copy and paste is available through the AutoDS Chrome helper extension. Now I'll click on paste. And as you see right here in front of me, everything is being automated. The customer's name, address, phone number, city, state, zip code, and everything else. This will help you semi automate your orders and process your orders much, much faster this way especially if you have 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 plus orders per day. Aside from that, I also want to show you guys the order sheet. This is where you can keep track of all of your orders. So let me show you that really, really quick. Here is the AutoDS order sheet, and this will help you organize all of your orders. So here's what we have. First, you have the item ID, which Facebook gives to you on every item that you have. Then you have the product ID on your supplier site and you can link to it to get there faster, but you also have this information on the AutoDS product page. Then you have the customer's address. So fill in the address, the selling price, how much it's selling for on your Facebook marketplace account, the buying price, how much you're buying it for from your source, the quantity, how much you sold, and then you'll have your profit, which is calculated automatically. So once you fill in the information here, you'll know exactly how much you're profiting, including Facebook's fee. 
Then you'll have the order ID from your supplier side, the tracking number, the shipping carrier, tracking link once you have it, and you can change the status from pending, ordered, shipped, whatever the right status is for your order. So this will help you guys organize your orders in a much better way for the Facebook Marketplace and will simply make your lives much, much easier and will help you also manage your cash flow and how much you're profiting at the end of the day, week, and month. So I hope that days three to five was very informational for you. I hope that the next days will give us much more sales. I have a pretty good feeling that they will. This is only the first five days and I have so much more to teach you guys. So enjoy the semi-order automation, use the fast address copier, use the order sheet, implement my product research methods and how I'm importing the products to my store as mentioned in the previous case study videos. And I'll see you in in the future case study videos where we will continue exploiting this wonderful untapped marketplace.